Uh, this question is from Dan Wickenhauser. He said, did you take an active role in the financial literacy of your children and our grandchildren? And if so, how would you recommend that a parent start this process today? Well, you know, that's really a good question. And somebody mentioned it yesterday about giving their kids a stock that they could watch, that kind of thing. And believe it or not, I did that with my, uh, with my oldest son. I bought him four stocks, probably five shares of each. I can't remember the names of all the stocks now. But he put them on his, he got these little decals and put them on his lampshade so he wouldn't forget to track them. And it got him very interested in the stock market. And that's the way to get your kids interested. But when it comes to investing, burn the damn lampshade. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know how one reconciles that gap. And it's sort of the fun of investing versus the fun of not having a needy retirement. And... Uh, you know, one is long-term in nature, one is short-term in nature, one you can watch every day and see good things and bad things happen. One is roughly like watching the grass grow. And uh, so I don't really have a good, a good answer to that. I have uh, given my grandchildren in, in little trust accounts, which their parents will only be trustees for, a uh, balance, balance index fund. And I do it year after year. I'm not sure that's the perfect choice. Obviously, if you go back 20 years, 25 years, I uh, should have put it in 100% in S&P 500, and I should have leveraged it, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, you know, I'm just not into that. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to think about it. I want to send the check in at each year end in, in my ability to, to make uh, to gifts that aren't t taxed, get it out of my estate. And uh, so they, they have had an education and balance fund, and there's a, there's a pretty good section about the, what do we call it, the Bogle <laughs> model in the, in the book. And uh, it shows how the balance... The, the Bogle model is basically based on the balanced index fund uh, was in the top, uh, was, did better than the top decile of college endowment funds. The top decile of college endowment funds in the last 10 years, five years, three years, and probably one year, I can't remember. Wasn't that, wasn't that, but uh, yeah, and, and uh, they had maybe, let me guess, a one and a quarter percent margin. And we didn't have any geniuses running it. We had some genius who said, balanced index is a good idea. I think I can remember who he was. 